I'm Virginia Applebaum. I've lived in the district for going on 16 years. And in the time that I've lived here, I have come to love the area. I love the people in it. I love the environment. It's so similar to where I grew up. It really feels like home. I'm here today to voice my opposition to the proposed prison in Briarfield. No one that I've talked to in Briarfield or the district supports this prison. And it is so important that the people are heard on this and that those in Montgomery listen to us. The building is going to be built roughly where I'm standing now. Yeah, this, this is the site. Just down the road are hunting clubs. There are rivers that feed into the Cahaba River. Just from a conservation and environmental standpoint, this is bad. There are so many reasons this is bad. As you can see behind me, this whole area has been raised, bulldozed, torn up. They have been drilling to find a water source. And as, as you can literally see, this does environmental damage here. I freely admit that some of my reasons for opposing the prison will be different from other people in the district. I admit that, I acknowledge it, but I also acknowledge that we are united in our opposition. It makes no sense from a fiscal standpoint, and it doesn't even address the problems. Prisons are for profit. Profiting off human misery is never a good thing. And that is what they do. And not only are they profiting off human misery, they're taking away from us. They're taking away from the people our education funding, funding for health services, funding that could be used to rehabilitate the prisoners. It's, the criminal justice system should never be about punitive measures only. And we need these programs. These prisons are going to profit while the people of this district are deprived. They will use a disproportionate amount of our resources, natural and otherwise, and they'll use a disproportionate amount of our infrastructure. The infrastructure that we currently have cannot handle a prison facility where the population is going to be greater than the community that it's in. We will be paying to upgrade that infrastructure. They'll be making money and we'll be subsidizing it. We'll be paying for it. They're not going to pay for the upgrades they need. We are. I believe that our taxes should be used for the benefit of the people and not private companies. How many school programs will this cut? How many underrepresented and disadvantaged people the elderly, the poor. How many people are going to suffer so one company can turn a profit? Because that money has to come from somewhere. And there's no way the prisons are paying for it. They're not about humane conditions. They are not about investment in the community. They're about turning a profit. What can we do? We can be vocal. We can contact our local governments and press them for action, press them for opposition. Attend the county commission meetings, attend the city council meetings, write, call, email the governor and your representative.